Come on, come on. Come on. Woo. Hell no. Till the no, no, no. Hell the no. Hey, welcome back to Scrap Heap Industries. Um, what we have here today is a project I worked on um, basically for the past 15, 16 years. Um, it started as a photo etched bending tool for scale military models. Uh, we called it the Fender Bender. Uh, myself and Jeff Mathis had a uh, website we called Offsworks. We sold some model building tools. Um, it was way back in the day. Um, this thing was moderately successful. It was made out of aluminum, but it was expensive. This one you can 3D print in the hardware uh, for right at about $5. So um, anyway, um, I'll take you through it. Um, there's just a few parts to print off. If you look at Thingiverse or Instructables, there'll be links to everything on there, instructions how to put it together. There was some questions on uh, the Instructables page because people said they didn't see how it worked. So that's why I'm making this video to show you how it works. After you get the thing put together, per the directions on the website, um, it's, it's pretty simple to use, um, not a whole lot. The premise is, is it works like a, uh, a, a press break, a uh, sheet metal break that you would see in pretty much any fabrication shop in the world. Um, if you start, this is a, just a piece of note card, heavy paper. Um, and what you would do, you take, you put the tool in both your hands and you wanna work your way out from the inside out. Let's just stop right here. Okay, you'll see that you, you mark it on the line right there. Hold this tight and bend up, just like a, just like a sheet metal break. And then you can take your thumb and run across there. Um, and if you wanted to, you could make this smaller bend right here. I can't quite tell if I'm lined up with the line, but you'll see it and it makes it, um, you see the, the two bends in that right there. Um, if you're making something fancy in paper, um, you know, you want to work from here to here, always work from the outside in, I guess or the inside out, depends on how you look at it. Glass half full, glass half empty. Uh, there you go there. And you can adjust your bends accordingly with your thumb. Hold down, press tight like that right here, right in the middle. Bend it up and it gives you the crease that you need to be able to finish your bend. And we'll move on to some brass parts too, just to show you that it works. Press tight and push up. So, I mean, there you see. I mean, I guess, I mean, this is just some quick sketches on paper to show you what you could do with it. I'll cut some more brass shim from this. But you can see brass works a little bit better because it re retains itself. It has, it's, it's, it's a harder material, but still, you, know, you can bend it, adjust it, bend it, you know, yada, yada, work your way around. Um, if you want to do long bends like I did right there, it works really well. That was the reason why I made this machine. And I'll show you the other side as well here in a second for inside bends or complicated bends, which you see right there. Anybody who has ever made a long bend in brass for a model will know that that is a pain in the ass. And that works really well. Now you can take this and turn this around. You'll see these are like finger gauges when you need to make inside for boxes. Um, you can fit these inside there. I, I didn't notch anything out to make that work, but you can kind of see if we, this was notched out. Nice, good pair of shears. We call them scissors, but they're not. These are shears. These are expensive scissors I've had for a long time. Keep them sharp. They work well for you. Let's say you're making a box that had to have an inside bend. And like I said, this is just really quick, not anything fantastic, but you know, you need to make sure that it stays out of the way. Your finger gauges are in there. You bend it up and do that. Then we'll do Sorry, I'm not talking, I'm thinking. Okay, now what we have to do is we have to have a means of bending this without screwing up the last bend. You'll see right there, this will fold up into that. Well, shoot, trying to do it too quick. My, my apologies there. It'll go back in there. Then you can take and fold it same way here. There you go. If everything's lined up and you're not in a hurry, then you need to find the spot where this thing will fit in between both of them and fold it up again. Like that. As you can see, just to get the quick 
gist of it, you know, make a break, yada, yada, make a box. Anyway, that is the mostly printed fender bender. Um, good for your origami projects or your, if you're trying to make a, a paper model, a brass model, anything like that. It should work really well for you. Um, and it's pretty, pretty sturdy, pretty vigorous, pretty, you know, stand up to the test of time. And if it breaks, print yourself a new one. It costs $5 for a whole one. So there you go. Um, there you go. See, so it just bends, bends, bends. Anyway, come back soon. Uh, if you have any questions, let us know. Um, post comments, come back, subscribe, tell your friends, please. Anyway, keep on building. Come on, come on, come on. Woo! Hell no, till the no, no, no.